Oh, dang, it's crazy to meet one of you guys. Okay, I'm sorry, I really don't want to pry, but did you meet Jesus? No, uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't. Uh, my grandfather saw him ascend, though. Oh, wow, I mean, we got smoke machines and strobe lights at my church, but I'm sure that was nothing compared to the spectacle of that. Uh, strobe lights? Uh, anyway, I, I do have a question for you as well. Oh, Man, it would be an honor, my dog. I'd love to provide any insight I can to the OG. Yes, anyway, uh, what is it like to have God's word available for everyone to read whenever they want to? I just can't imagine. Yeah, it's, it's dope, man. I mean, honestly, these days, though, I get most of my scripture reading from Instagram memes and 15-second TikToks, but I'm sure for those who want to go deeper in the word, it's pretty sweet. TikTok? Yeah, I mean, it's not like I dislike the Bible or anything. I just don't think it has that much like application today you know like we live in such a different world from back then so i just don't think it's very applicable why do you say that just look at me man we're, we're so different i got a cell phone the bible says nothing about cell phones and it says nothing about what we're experiencing today corrupt governments interpersonal conflicts church challenges you've never read scripture have you well i, I mean it's been a hot minute oh well anyway i do have another question for you now that transportation is so much more available and must be such a blessing to be able to congregate with other believers more easily yeah about that i mean we do have our worship experience so maybe around 1 p.m i'll head over to the service hang out chill with some of my buddies but we usually don't stay too long we're out of the door pretty quick because you know there's nfl football and my buddy's kid has a soccer game and so the whole fellowship thing is just a little bit inconvenient you, you know what is this worship experience i'm so glad you asked man okay believe it or not last week we had a full-fledged marching band on stage it was absolutely dope we just installed a multi-million dollar interactive screen so our pastor can literally have the garden of gethsemane behind him as he's preaching about it oh uh, interesting I, I suppose that means that those who need to be cared for the the poor and the downtrodden are being taken care of well i mean yeah, I mean, we give water bottles to homeless people sometimes and say God loves them. And we do our trips with our youth group and some kind of short-term mission trips. We'll build houses and that kind of thing. Uh, but on the way back, obviously, we go to Disney World to reward them. I mean, it is their spring break after all. I mean, there was at one time that they had to knock down one of the houses that we built because it was built by a bunch of Gen Z e-boy TikTokers. Uh, but their heart was in the right place. Okay, well, my main concern is is the gospel being preached? Oh yeah, man, you, you don't need to worry about that. Our pastor goes absolutely off. You should see some of his clips on reels. They're so good. Last week, he was talking about how God wants to just bless us and we just need to claim more blessings and be more confident and just ask him for that new car, that new house, that higher paying job. It really got me thinking, that is not the gospel. I mean, what do you mean, man? That, that's why Jesus came, to give me a wonderful, successful life. No, that's not it at all. Do you know why my brothers who are being persecuted continue to push forward and draw others to the savior it's not because they were promised some treasure on earth but rather they were promised the eternal treasure of jesus do you not know the scriptures do not store for yourself treasures on earth where moth and dust destroy or where thieves can break in and steal but store for yourself treasures in heaven where moth and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also man for a 2,000 year old guy, you sure have a good memory. That's not how time travel works. Anyway, back to the point. We're calling people to repentance, to be free from the bondage of sin through Jesus. You are all slaves to entertainment, to money, to pleasure. You think you serve Jesus, but you really just serve your own desires. Whoa, whoa, buddy, slow down. Let's just take a walk to my church. We can get a coffee from the Starbucks inside, and we can also take a dip in Pastor Dustin's jacuzzi. Okay, sound good? No, you're missing the point. Don't worry, we do Christianity a little bit different here, but in time, you'll get used to it.